Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to the Kingdom of Sicily, led by, you know, kind of a Victor Emmanuel III, but really Julius of Ola. But the fall of Piedmont, we finally did it. The bastion of so-called Attila in cynicalism is in her hands, demonstrating superiority over moral fiber. We must finish off our ultimate enemies while we can, namely the cynicalists, whom destroy our flesh with their weapons, and even more dangerously, the Christian socialists, whom seek to destroy our spirit through their disgusting advocacy of egalitarian pacifism. Socialism here is finished. The Commune of Pran France? France? Suits for peace. Our victory over the Socialist Republic of Italy has finally drawn a response from the Communist of France. They do not wish to embroil themselves further in war in Northern Italy, and have offered to cut the Socialist Republic loose if we simply end the conflict with them now. If we accept their offer, we may not get another chance. So, honestly, the Reich's Pact has already knocked out Russia, and they're going to be just pushing him. And they're already pushing in a little bit already into France. In all honesty, if we keep pushing, and if we can, like, snake our way up here, we can maybe get to the border with the Spanish Republic, take them out, maybe get all the way up to Brest, perhaps, maybe, depending on how well we do. And then push into here. So really, we have big goals. So I'm going to say, we can end this now, but we'll feed them all. Also, the Republic of Italy finally declared war on us, but we're actually doing okay. They have a lot of divisions in the north, which isn't great, but with us pushing into the Social Republic, we're actually doing all right now, which is fantastic. I mean, heck, they, they, they got a lot of open holes here, which is awesome, 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 awesome. So, there you go. See what you can do. Give them a play. Beat the crap out of them, because I don't think they were expecting the Social Republic to really capitulate like that. Hey, Elsta. Elsta? Nice. Ooh, actually, Venice doesn't have that as many divisions, which is kind of nice over here. Um, so that's good. We're actually doing really well now. I mean, it helps if you, the enemy just, like, grinds themselves on you and just destroys themselves, which is good. But, you know. Uh, what do we got here? You're still defending. Vance Oil. It's 1941. November. Basically, December. Excuse me. December right now. We'll take Venice. If we can destroy Venice, that'd be great. Destroy these guys over here. Destroy these guys in the mountains. And then continue pushing through here. I think that would be for the best. Right now, though, we have what? Uh, not us. We're on the Belgrade Pact. We have done 66% of the war score. Or war score participation so far. Get over there just... No, no, no. I want you here. Go there and you might have enough room and space and whatnot. So, yep. Good, good, good. All our stuff is very good. Political power. We don't need it as much as we used to, which is okay. A road Italian it, legitimacy. The Italian government has been defeated and is now hiding in exile. Considering their claim to legitimacy is far from absolute, we should be able to wear down the resistance given enough time. Yeah, that'd be good. He's been wounded, not good. Hey, come on. Oh, you should help out. You're here for a reason. These guys are dying and grinding their way through here, which is not ideal, but you know what? With what we're doing, we're doing all right. Uh, send one division this way. You might, nah, you're not really going to be able to encircle them, but that'd be good, though. Oh, we're out of Artie. Of course, we're pushing pretty hard. Hey! We actually just defeated the Republic of Italy. Look at that. Hey, got a couple more ships? Yes, please. We're going to need every ship we can possibly get because, well, we don't have very much. We really don't have very much, do we? There you go. And there you go. Nice. I want you to pause. It's not a good idea to pause the attack, so... But I need time for our guys to plan, get more organization back, and get really our, all of our soldiers on the front line. So, yeah, the Germans are definitely winning. We'll put it like that. In the meantime, we're making an agency. We are building up more millies infrastructure. Uh, ooh, a little bit of fuel would be nice too. Imam subsidies are very, very good. Uh, but yeah, we're doing pretty decently overall. We're going to get some new treadnoughts. We're going to do a lot of stuff over here. Armor technology, land doctrine, begin army reform. Army still in many ways a mishmash of militias, old federal Italian divisions. Conscripts and foreign volunteers. Organizing it in an effective fighting force will be a complicated task. We're almost done here too. Shared instructors, backbone of the armed forces, more soft attack, special forces retaining time. Division training time. The Mountaineer Special Forces cap contribution, which is not bad, versus more attack. Everyone gets more attack. More Special Forces capacity multiplier. Better out of supply, uh, combat, non combat out of supply penalty and acclimatization. So we do want more attack for Marines and that. Uh, and you get 20% more Special Forces capacity. Or would we want more soft attack for all Mountaineers? Special Forces division training time goes down, which is okay. Mountaineer Special Forces cap contribution. I don't, I don't really actually don't know which one's better. So let me know in the comments below, which is better? What you, you would choose? Back one of the armed forces versus shared instructors. Because this is good if you want to have multiple of these guys. Um, expeditionary forces, all, all right. It's all right. It's all right. Mm. This will give you special forces attack. Blow torque and corkscrew. Demolition experts, mechanized. Um, we're Italy, so it, it seems like they really should be the backbone of the armed forces. Um, so I think I'm going to go with this one. I've done, I've done the right, right, left this one, but it is alright. Let's see what happens. Let's get a little more organization first before the Germans push too hard. Uh, they're not pushing, they're pushing, but not an extreme amount. You guys have been here? It is plain, so.
Good, good, good. And we're gonna form a department. Nice. Would like to make an encirclement, but I don't know if we really can. We'll try. Happy to 41, everybody. 41, 41, 41. Yes, please. And yeah, multi roll. High ability. High agility. High ability. Something like that. Go in, go in, go in. It's only one division we want on circle, but it's better than nothing. Stretch out their lines just a little bit. Well, hopefully, they start attacking us, but you never know. Oh, yeah, they're definitely losing more territory, aren't they? That's good to see. And we are there. Very nice. Good, destroyed. Take that towel, that'd be very nice. Now we're really spreading our line out. But so we are doing the same to them. Is this a supply point? No, it's not. Supply point is a Toulouse. What if you all go there? Put them off there. At least take that. Formidable. Very nice. Go there, go there. Go right there. Just keep them in place. That's really what I want you to do. Dutch East Indies. Oh. What a shame. Go in. There you go. That's better. Hold. And yeah, we'll keep pushing into them. We got everything we're doing here. So we're doing pretty well overall. Uh, Messi's reform plan. A small clique of generals, led by Giovanni Messi, a veteran of the Italian front and the Italian civil wars, planning audacious reforms for military structure planning, perhaps allowing them to have their voice heard in, in, in our best interests. Unfa expansion plan. Economic incentives and legal protections must be put into place to ensure tank manufacturing doesn't stay behind that of our uh, foul folds. The army of Sicily. The army kingdom should be, fight, be fighting a fighting force like no other. Uh, modern, well equipped, and brave. The bride of the nation will save its soul. I think it was last time too. Armored thrusts. The cynical is likely have battle lines waiting for us, but we'll smash through them with the power of Italian engineering. The steel and automotive industry. Kingdom armed warfare is to move faster than enemies to outmaneuver them. Thankfully, many automo automotive leaders were pushed off cynical lands and can lend us a hand in reclaiming occupied territory and making us offensive. More than just using trucks. We use special infantry transport vehicles to gain the upper hand against the Red Tide. And we are trying to navally invade the Union of Britain now. Fantastic, as it's going alright. We're actually trying to land in Portsmouth, Dover. Hopefully, trying to land. Please. Ah, uh, we have. Fantastic. Um, could you actually do that, maybe? Please don't die. Please cut them off. Kill them off. Please, come on. Come on. Land here, too. Okay, there you go. Russia announces it. Oh, I should have read that. Do they plan to get on the Reich's Pact, which is actually okay with me. That makes it very easy for us, then. Take out Dover. Don't you dare move. Get these guys on the line here, which we'll just throw as many guys as we can in here, too. Um, for the most part, uh, we're throwing everybody in here. We actually need to invade it first, so screw you guys. We are doing this. Come on. Did we get in? Did we get in? Keep them in place. We did. Fantastic. So all these guys should be moving up. Fantastic. Naval invasion gone right. And go, go, go. Oh, what happened here? Oh, nice. Like a sub. That's good. What is this? Uh, sub fleet, huh? Torpedo attack. Sub visibility. Attack. Supremacy. I like being supreme. Um, here, grab that too. Can we go in fast? Sending in all the soldiers. As much as we possibly, pretty much possibly can. London will be a frontline city. Oh, they're trying to raid us. What happened to our ships? Oh, don't go down there. Fine. Please. We're going to be losing a lot of convoys if we don't do anything here. But, hey, at least the German Navy's here. That's a relief. It's weird to say that, but yeah. Good. We're doing a lot of the work here. Nice. We're basically getting funds from the Reich's Pact, even though, without being in the Reich's Pact. I love it. Beat the crap out of them. The Fall of London. The reports from London confirm the capital of the Union of Britain has been reportedly captured by advancing Sicilian troops after long stage battles across the Thames River. British forces put up stiff resistance, hoping to lay the Sicilian forces as far as long as possible, but were eventually beaten back. For the first time since 1216, London has fallen to a foreign invader, the Sicilians. 
The atmosphere in the city is heavy, with gunfire still ringing in the night as the British forces retreat, leaving only protesters and Sicilian military police fighting in the streets. This is the beginning of the end. Oh, you bet it is. I didn't think we'd actually be able to pull it off like this, but hey, we have it. High flyer? Yes, please. Uh, what are we missing? Planes. A lot of casts. We need a lot of aluminum. Which we have. Tons and tons and tons of that stuff. Get more trains if we really need it. Fantastic. Yeah, whenever you invade, it's usually not too bad. But you never know. Oh, the Russians are here too, huh? The Russian Republic. Because they got beaten back in the war already. The Senate for the Moscow Accord, huh? The Radical Socialists. Of course they are. We're still doing alright. Lots of green, which we love, 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 love. Oh, they're forcing the defense. Interesting. Interesting take. Now we're losing. We're not. We're killing off our own soldiers. But not nearly as much as they're losing, too. Norwich, please, yes. Very good. These guys are not quite cut off. And I don't think we will be able to cut them off down here, maybe. But maybe not. Just be sure it would be nice. Uh, what is this? Fall of Batavia. Oh. Good. Uh, armor thrusts, very good. Hey, see, we did get in a second here eventually. Ah, oh, so we've lost half a million, which is quite a few. Union Britain, over a million to the Germans, 400,000 from us. We've cut off 1.3 million Sicilian, uh, Sicilians, uh, French. Uh, so we've done actually quite well for ourselves. They lost two guys against us. De Mexico, oh, we cut off 35,000 Mexicans. I didn't even remember seeing Mexicans here, but okay, fantastic. Advanced heavy holes are good. Get some armor. As well. Yeah, they're kind of screwed at this point. Uh, we're going to mobilize. Uh, to extend conscription at the very least. Because, my god, do we need it. It's going to be a bloody couple campaigns here, isn't it? Uh, naval stuff. Battleship organization. Yes, please. Rexham? Rexham. Is it Rexham? Rexham? I like ham. Bangor. It's a lot of red. But the more casualties we take, the higher, we, uh, the worse score we get, right? At least finish this group off here, so you guys all hold here. We need more supply. By supply, well, supply's not bad, but we need more planning. Okay. Hold, except here. Hold, that's fine. Bangor, yes. There you go, that's fine. Good. Japan, Canada. More recon is good. Also, it doesn't help that we don't have any of these guys doing... Well, very few of these guys doing spy stuff, too. What do they got here? Oh, yeah. Not too many ships left. Less than a million manpower. Which is still better than us. And stockpile. They're doing alright. RS, DRP, and selections. Has this been redone again? Yeah, it's another Social Democrats. Bring back the Cossacks. Huh? This is among the... Menshevik. Internationals rise to power. Moderate set fast. Interesting. Okay, well. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, it looks so initially better. Yeah, we're fighting over a lot of rivers here too. And they do have a lot of divisions, which is not ideal. Hey, we got the Sheffield. Good. They do have air superiority, unfortunately. They have a lot of planes. They do have quite a few planes, but we're slowly doing it. Well, no wonder you're not winning. You're not committing other soldiers to it. Hull, maybe, yes. Break over here, that'd be fantastic. We recover quite quickly, though. Hey, Manchester, good. Armor thrusts. We like thrusting. New dreadnoughts, yes. Mm, I'm not quite done with the land auction just yet. We're getting there. It's costing us a lot of blood, though. Hey, holes surrounded. We lost 600,000. These very aggressive assaults. But they've got to be giving up soon, yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. 
Better already? Yes, please. Better empty air? Yes, please. We are doing very, very well now. It's 900,000 casualties just from us alone. Hey, and there's going to be way more soon, too. What a beautiful thing, you know. Just beautiful. I can't keep it up. Fantastic. Almost a million. Just from us alone. Oh boy. And we've got them. Fantastic. Well, everyone, we got it all. Look at that. And we got literally all the commune of France. We got all of the, you know, the Union of Britain. We got Iceland. Holy crap, the PSA has divided the Canadian states into two. Holy cow. That's kind of insane. Jesus Christ, what happened? Why are they fighting Canada? Okay, then. The Constitutional American Republic is actually doing okay. Oh, my. Ooh. What route did they go with this guy? That's actually kind of cool. Look at this big old smoker here. DC, Leahy, yeah. CSA still. Oh, well, big bell. Hey, well, that's a different thing. I don't know. Oh, we also got Mexico. So now we're Mexicans, is too, which is fine with me. Too bad we don't have Baja. We also took Paraguay and Chile. Um, so that was actually freaking awesome. But now we can restore the Roman Empire. We were taking the lands of Italy, and now can be taken seriously as heirs of Rome. We returned to Rome. The course may be established claims outside Sicilian territory. Today, King Victor Emmanuel III of the Kingdom of Two Sicilies declared that with much of Italy now united under his rule, his nation would be known as the Italian Empire. While some consider the title ambitious, the huge crowd in the city of Naples greeted the king's announcement with great enthusiasm. There was some within the Sicilian government. The papyrus suggested that the man who united Italy should take little the title of emperor, but evidently the king declined. Our truth is in a land of many th many kings, he said to have replied, but they are all united under the empire, just as Italy is a land of many people united under one aspiration, the return of Rome. We have retaken the lands of Italy from the various socialists, republicans, and pretender kings, and the papal clergy that sought to keep true, tra true tradition down as a corrupted Italian and wider Western society with a hedonistic decadence and modernity. With their power undeniable, and with the revival of the ancient Roman spirit well underway thanks to the work of pagan revivalists within the UR group like Arturo Regini, Amadeo Rocco and Armentano, and Giacomo Boni, who have long belabored to totally revive the old Roman religion, along with fast to the culture, we can at least last give the ancient Roma the dignity it has always deserved by continuing its legacy in a new form, while using the name Symbology once again. Which name would be most appropriate? The Kingdom of Rome? The Roman Empire. Third Rome. Third Rome? Third Rome sounds kind of boring. Isn't that like Constantinople? That seems honestly very, very boring. German Crimea, what the heck? Severe water shortage, well that really sucks. Weekly stability gain, oh my god. German occupation. Some sort of influence, ever present Russians. My second Crimea. Ukraine, Roman Empire. Uh, well, we are the Kingdom of Sicily. Hmm. Yes, we do have a king. The Roman Empire. The Kingdom of Rome. Uh, do I want a kingdom or do I want an empire? Well, said we have many kings here, so maybe we won't go with the king. Third Rome is nice, but let's go with the Roman Empire. I mean, it's generic. I know, I get it. But holy crap. So, do we get any more cores or anything else? Uh, establish Irredentus claim on Upper Savoy. Annexed by France in 1860, Upper Savoy is properly part of the Italian domain. And is our interest to establish more permanent claim in the region? Well, I mean, we got a little more than just Savoy here, not gonna lie. Civilian overstep for a lot of this stuff. Integration is good to have. Uh, integration is good to have here, too. Um, is that all? So what are we missing here? CV cast, now nah, we're good. Naval bombers. Uh, I'm gonna make naval bombers. We're gonna make our own. We're gonna make a lot of planes. We got cast fiat. Sure. Naval stuff. Well, we are making what? Improve the cruiser holes. Improve holes. Holes. Improved dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts are kind of old fashioned at this point. Uh, we're running out of convoys, so that's fine to do. Fall of Chicago. Goodbye, Chicago. 
Claims over northern Italy. Oh, now that the war is over with the north is over, the claims over northern Italy are no longer required. So be it. Oh. Uh. That's not good. Did we not win? We're at peace. Uh, this is not good. Well, then. Um, well, we should have militia help defend and garrison territory. But really, really cavalry divisions. Actually, I've heard that irregular cavalry is actually probably best for it. So we're going to go with that real quick. And switch them all over. Oh, we already did it. Okay, there you go. It's going to cost us quite a bit of manpower to do all this stuff. That's national state. Well, I mean, if Moscow can go to war with them, that would be great. 42 still. So pretty good. Um, do we get any claims on anybody else? Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we do. Hold on. My bad. So we're going to do the dreadnought stuff. I forgot. Hello? The West. Western Europe was once held once the domain of the greatest empire to live, followed by feudal societies that celebrated noble virtue. Now it's decimated by socialism and papal influence. We must take retake Gaul and Hispania up and bring it back to a rightful place. The old world. Little has been more difficult. <clears throat> to witness the greatness of Austrian Greece, once the bastions of the the Holy Roman and Macedonian empires, respectively, and in the case of the latter Sparta, being degenerated by liberalism and modernism. It's time to bring back the old world's greatness. What do they want? Oh, Hawaii? Oh, I guess we do have Hawaii, huh? Oh, look at that. We've got Hawaii. Eastern... Oh, well, they completely shattered over here. Oh, God. So before we release anybody, we have claims on all this stuff. So... And we're literally the Roman Empire, so... Boars, uh, Berbers and Gauls. The Barbarians. The old world. This is, I think, the first campaign I've ever seen where the CSA is capitulated before the uh, uh, Constitutional American Republic by the Barbarians. The Huns had done humanity a great service, and the first great war by pushing back against the forces of modernist republicanism. But now they simply use its position to feed a lazy, limp wristed aristocracy, but in the camp of his desires while holding off war with the socialists for as long as possible. It's time for Rome to take on the barbarian hordes once for all and restore the virality. Barbers and Gauls, Northern Africa's right for belongs to us, not through the weak shell of European imperialism, but seeks to bring civilization or native savages, who must be brought to heel. West got a lot of claims, so like what we do, France. What do you mean, for of Northern Italy? But the northern part of the Italian peninsula under control is up to us to decide what will become a part of what region. Uh, will it be released as a single entity under control, powerful but perhaps difficult to control, or should we decide what to do with each part of it separately? Okay, come on, give, give me time to. These are literally not cores, bro. Man. Integrable territories. Alright. It's odd. Release Italy as a puppet. Why would we do that? No, we do a military occupation. That makes literally no sense. Fate of France. Paris has been captured and the French have been defeated. We ripped out the heart of the revolution, and now we must decide what to do with occupied France. Uh, this makes more. We are the Roman Empire. Fate of Hawaii. Find our control. To occupy the region. We now decide what to do with it. Um.
I can do this a while, that's fine. A bit of Iceland. Campaign in the Northern Atlantic paid off. Iceland's fallen in our hands. The question now is what you do with the Barren Island in the Northern Atlantic. There you go. Mexico. Kind of like owning Mexico. It's not worth much. Uh, no, Paraguay as well. Central America. There you go. That's what would deal with our problems. Unified. You know what? We'll do that one too. As long as we're here in, you know, Europe. Chile. Um, what do I do with these guys? I have Dementia Occupation. That's fine. Where do you get Iceland? Oddworld. Barbarians. Well. Kinda sucks that we lost Hawaii, but it's not worth fighting them over that. Interesting. Alexander Taylor, huh? So we released him, and then they left us. That's very weird. Very strange. But oh well, it is what it is. So who can we go to war with now? A lot of people. Well, I guess technically. If they move fast enough, you can probably swarm them. Oh, god dang it. Um... Oh god, I forgot about all these ships here too. Oh good lord. Now we've got carrier planes too. Oh man, we gotta make stuff for that too. Shove everybody in that one. There we go. Yeah, we can make more stuff here. That's good. We're working on the political power. I'm honestly surprised that our war sport is actually above like 50. So. Mobilizing as we are, thank God. Get yeah, still 1.4 political power every day, which is fantastic. And some recon. Good. Barbarians, Arabs, and Parthians. The Far East is filled with foes who will make for great warfare, including old foes in Iran. Meanwhile, Western influence is eroding the vitality that the Wahhabists are desperately attempting to rescue from modernist Muslims. So, socialists, socialists and mercantilists, let's kill two birds with a single stone. The Vikings, Scandinavia's once the bastion of warrior virtues, expecting his ruling class to engage in warfare and plunder, but look upon it now, an outlet, outlet of leftism and consumerism that is less than the shadow of the beauty it once was. Let's right the wrongs of the past. We actually do anything here. You're gonna run out of fuel so fast, and not even funny. Just in case we'll save. I don't know how well this will go, but if we can take these guys out fast, it'd be great if we take out the Reichspact after that. I hope Russia is like. Going to mobilize because that would be great if they could. They're doing, they're all right so far. Uh, Bell Dams on the Volga. Like, oh, they did go with expansionism. Enemy in the West, that's good. But there's the final battle, so they do have that option still. Which is very good. They can still, we still have one enemy in common um, against those guys. So it's very, very, very good to see. And we'll see. Gonna start attacking us, do they? No. You start winning here, maybe? I'm probably gonna go by a couple people here and there, that's fine. Last year, it's fine. I don't need, think their divisions are as good as ours, which is hopefully reality for us. Mm. 
Veathers and Gauze. Uh oh. Hey! A couple of light destroyers. Oh. I guess we do have quite the fleet now. So who needs to make your own fleet when you can just steal everyone else's ships, you know? Bob Barcelona. Yay! Good job, guys. Not good. There goes America. This is weird. They are the last group here. Besides New England, but still. Not to this good. Boop, 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 boop. Oopsie. Mind, I just want you to link up here. This group has done very well compared to the group in the north. Very nice, very, very nice. We're doing quite all right. Hello? Oh, not ideal. Happy in nothing like Roman nukes. Hey, if we finally busted out of there, thank God. My goodness. Finally linked up. There you go. Go in. They're all together now. I think the combos. I guess that is an easy way to get kill a lot of enemy combos off. Oh, what else we got? The Vikings. So basically, everyone's gonna become our enemy. Good. That's not ideal. Ground support's good. Yes. Yeah, we're doing very well here. So we've lost. Oh, hello. Forty-one thousand versus a quarter million. Not bad. Oh, give me a request. Oh. Manpower support. Forces. Garrison support, yes. Oh, thanks. You know, 20,000 is like nothing. Ball of Madrid. We'll take it. We might go to war with Switzerland next. Because there's another independent power. Ah. Vikings, good. Too. Nice, very nice, very nice. Do you have any more upgrades? No, darn it. That sucks. Hey! It's not good, especially when we want to add their ships to our own fleet, but whatever. Gives the guys more experience, which is what matters really in the end. Yeah, they're really losing really hard now. Very hard. They're literally killing themselves. So they won't completely. Uh, yeah, they're literally, like, just right there. God. Literally a desperate defense. Seville's ours. My goodness. Uh, I've been this place good. I've read this before. Two thirds of a million. And for what? What have you accomplished? Beautiful. And goodbye. We're definitely going to be against the Huns. Switzerland's going to be a giant pain in the butt. They literally just sacrificed a million Spanish men. Like, oh my god. I don't think that was smart of them. But we're not them. They're not us. That's fine. How would you guys be the main force here? Yo, very nice. Might want to take out the Dona Asia bone as well. Perhaps too. Oh, look at this. It's not much of the Spanish fleet, especially when the ships are all old and outdated and crappy, but that's alright. 
But, you know, the reality is for everything and everybody. There you go. Let's get our guys in the line and see what happens. Infantry as specialist? Sure, you can have that. I know that's just what you wanted. Carrier experiments? Demobilize? Well, let me tell you what. We ain't going to demobilize anytime soon. You're all Mountaineers now. Congrats. Not terrible. Be even thicker if you can. So let's say, I know which one's going to be a pain in the butt. We don't have a lot of manpower, but it is what it is. Nice. And we do have a few carriers too to work with. Regulars, mobile irregulars. The Reggies, the Reggies, the Reggies. Here, and since we're here, give it a little. Yeah, you're already here. Nice. Alright, and they're not guaranteed by anybody. Oh, they made it start attacking us. Look at that. Okay, well. If they really want to force the attack, I mean, I guess. I mean, we're Italian, so, like, we're pretty good in defense and whatnot. Or on the mountains, at least. I'm not sure we could actually really assault the position and take it, but you know, we'll see. I'm gonna guess technically they will literally fight and die until they're all gone. Very cool. Very cool. Good job. Oops, my bad. Also, we have to be careful with how we do everything here. Um. You go here. Yes, yeah, so you're pretty thick. You're pretty strong. So we would like them. It's going to save a lot of manpower. Because we have big old goals. Huge goals. Very nice. Fantastic. Stable manpower. This is a big old risk, but can we do this? Maybe, maybe not. No, they're throwing, sho shoving everybody in there. But we still might be able to get him, perhaps. Eh, maybe not. Come on. And we've lost 9,000 versus their 63,000. That's pretty good so far. Why can't we have more gladiators as generals? That'd be a lot of fun. Are they forcing the defense? So close. Hey, we got it. Nice. And uh, more planes, yes. You know what? We need to put guys on here. Give it a little bit of time. Research bonus, everything's pretty much research at that point. Hey, finally, that's good. That's a lot of divisions down there. Uh, firefighting drills, not bad. There you go, magnetic mines. We don't really use that, though. Maybe here, maybe? Not here. Well, that's not ideal. Good. Yep. More naval subs. Awesome. Good. Hey, look at that. Nice circlement. Where are you going? Run down. Let the mountaineers do the work. 
Rack Chain's not bad. Is that it? Political power? Oh, we saw this one. Yeah, we really used too much armor, have we? Alright, so now we're gonna go here and do this. Should do alright. Militia, it's fun to beat the crap out of the militia. That's why I never like using it. It's not strong enough. I get why it exists, but I still don't like it. Care frugality? I do both. Look at all these forts. At least help, hopefully help us defend against the Germans eventually. Oh! I was not expecting that so soon. So half the guys there, get over here. Uh, well, Alright then. Uh, speed, air defense, Australasia. Output, I like output. Nice, nice, nice. Brave commanders. Positioning. I like positioning a lot. Well, one of my favorite ones. And there goes those guys. Here's much. I don't remember what these, what these guys have. Quite a bit. Of course, they're on all adult serve, so that's not good for them. Who are out of rubber? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, well, keep beating them up and see who's our next target. And now time for us in a war against the Entente. Portugal's going to die here first. Um, we're going to try to invade Oran, and it looks like we'll be okay. Canada's defending there, but there's not too much really there to defend, so we'll see what we can do. As our convoys have been captured or being sunk, not ideal. It is what it is. We're going to quickly through these guys as fast as we can. Portugal's dying, and I don't think they really expected us to attack them, which is pretty good overall. Uh, I'm going to send you guys actually to the north real quick, just because I don't know if we can actually go through there or not. I think these guys don't really like us either, but I don't want to go to war with the Reichspact right now. And we'll see eventually. Ooh, two divisions. Oh, that's not good. Please. Where are our guys? Hello. We're just going to let our divisions get sunk, huh? Oh, how great. How fantastic. We need the Mountaineers here, because the Mountain terrain is god-awful. So, there's that. And we lost a crap ton of convoys. My god. Died for, like, literally no reason. Roman Empire, 21,000 losses. French National State. Oh, they're going to lose a lot of guys. They've already lost 56,000 to us, so... What do we got here? Ooh, tons of convoys. Nice. Strap bombing, even though it doesn't really matter to us. I guess we all have to take out Greece, too, huh? I, get, I need some Marines. We could really use some Marines. Follow oh, Lisbon. Good, good, good. Actually, could we invade now, maybe? Use it very well. Toronto. Um, I need more planes still. Just never enough, you know? We should be okay, as long as your guys can escort everything. Should be okay. Master Peter ship launchers, better heavy hull stuff. We've already lost too many convoys as it is. Come on. You're here to learn as much as possibly can. Are we moving and doing alright down here? Hopefully we actually wow look at that manpower. Huh. Well, at least we got some manpower finally. Very nice. Keep sinking every single convoy. We're doing alright. The roads here are gonna suck, majorly, but what do you expect? Nice. Algiers, yes. Algiers regime will never cause trouble again. It better not. So who's the major power in the Entente? French national state, Canada hopefully will die. Um, what else we got here? So they're slowly eating up New England and whatnot. So that's good, at least. Tons combos go bye-bye, yes, yes. Just slow going in the desert, what do you expect? Pretty, 
good. You guys have kind of made it. All right. Don't think we're going to be super successful doing this, but you never know. Extend all the way here too, just in case. Decent, looking decent. Nice. Good. I'm surprised he hasn't leveled up. Oh, he did level up. Okay. Computer expert. Even better ch hit chance. That's good, 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 good. Do this. Go over here. And grab this. Should have done this too. It's alright. Once these guys are gone, they're going to go to Greece. Uh, where's the capital now? Oh, is it done? Oh, it's all in Dakar. So once these guys are done over here, we're gonna send you all straight to Dakar. Cause holy crap, there's a, a supply god awful. You gonna read this, please? Go ahead. Boop. Thank you. Suicide pills. I love suicide pills. All right, so you're gonna come all the way down to this part of Africa. Hey, and it's like, oh, oh, well, we actually got him. Oh, we'll take whatever we can. Sierra Leone. Nice. Uh, we can't take all that, huh? Darn. There you go. That's all we can take. You know what? It's alright with us. So now the net. Oh god, we get to get the Netherlands too. <sighs> All right, whatever. Let's look at the Greeks first. Aluminum's good. Rubber still garbage. There you go. There you go. Tons of extra fuel, just in case. Yes, yeah, so we got over here. No, not really. Can we naval invade? Hurry up. That's the case, you're gonna start building up yourself. More there, and more here too. We need more naval invasion support. Peace be on time. With the collapse of the French government in Algiers, we have asserted full control over the land of the French exiles. Now, lies the question in the war with Canada and the subsequent the Entente. We must bring the fight to the shores of Canada and finally be taken down the Entente, or should we initiate a ceasefire with the members of the Entente? Nevertheless, how should we approach this matter? If we don't get it at the end, that's alright, because we need that war support. Because I'm about to destroy it. Bombing Mosulan, Niger. Mm, we're not paying for XP to do this. Improve these ships, that'd be nice. Battleship Armor 3. Oopsie. Anti air aircraft. Is there anything special over here? No. There you go. Good. Tons of armor. Just armor it up. Orders to run the Central American Republic. Nice. Production cost is fine for us, I don't care. Alright. Um, well, no focuses we can do right now. That's weird, because we did this war with the SRI, the old order. The Italian Confederation. Can't do that one either. Constitution of Kingdom, the Organic Kingdom. So we need quite a few more states. Really, just Germany. Actually, we get Germany, yeah. We've got to build ourselves up to that, though. Alright, let's see. Can we need to invade? Uh, before we let, before we let it happen, we're gonna save real quick because that's probably gonna be really risky for us. Hopefully, the Pacific states take out America or Canada. I should really say. Oh, look at those combos just destroyed. I love it. Uh, we land, we're trying to land. Oh, we actually made it over. Look at that. 
surprised that it actually worked. Okay then. Not bad. Hello. Keep it up, subby chubbies. And take out the subs, and there you go. I landed too. You go there, you beat the crap out of them here too. And boomerinos, we got them. Fantastic. Thessaloniki, Thessalonica. Alright, you did it. Oh, they're still fighting a superhero. It's fine. Send him in and beat the crap out of him. Nice. Yeah, we definitely need more Marines. Yeah, here we go. Nice. Good, good, good. Supplies we got off down here. Yeah, there's a lot of folks trying to fight down there, but they're not going to do so well at home. Uh, heart attack, breakthrough. Honestly, we're using a lot of artillery, so we'll get more breakthrough for them. That'd be very good. Hey, better guns. Nice. 1944. More construction speed, shall we? Go get up to here, take them all out. It'd be very nice. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, but not great. Get in there, y'all. I said get in there. The Color Enfranchisement Act. Well, good for them, I guess. Not like we really care that much. Hey, where are you going? I guess it could go. I mean, that's not against our rules, you know. If they want to die, that's fine with us. You know? As a guy, we'll come back here, which will be fine. And bingo bongo bongo dingo. There you go. And you do that. There you go. Have fun. Boom. All this stuff. Yeah, let's destroy what we got here. Beep, 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 beep. Nope, 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 nope. All under Roman rule. It's the way we like it. We can send the army next to you. Because we're still getting more weekly wars, but right? Yay! Plus point one. It's not much. Hello. Ah, uh, Valkyrie Vel Aerosol. What do you expect? Oh, yeah. No wonder we were, able, we were able to relatively easily win down here. Liberia? I guess we really wanted to, I guess. Technically. Okay, well, I mean, I wanted to go to Worthy anyways, but this makes it easy for us and saves us, like, political power. It's not bad. It's very nice. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, come on. Hey, we got him. Not bad. But overall, that's not too bad. Not too shabby. Sierra Leone, don't care. 
Um, but I think with us doing everything here, we're going to capitulate them. Maybe by taking out the. No, I guess not. I guess yeah, they're no longer the main group here, huh? The Pacific States have done very well. The Corp Prosperity Sphere has done really well, except for these guys. They got a big old enemy in China, though. These guys are independent. What the heck happened here? Regardless. I think I'll end it there. We'll have one more episode in this in which we will, like, take out the Dutch. I might go to war with the Duna Adria Bund, and then we might go to war with the Reichs Pact after that. Because I think we need to take them out, too. Because we do a well, Central Greece eventually. Yeah, we need to go to war with everybody, anyways, and all the. pretty much the Balkans, too, so. <clears throat> hey, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll go to war probably with the Duna Adria Bund. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.